I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on differentiability and continuity. We have taken up a piecewise function here and we'll check the differentiability at a particular value of x. The question here is, is the function f of x equals to x squared plus 4 for x less than or equal to 0 or 4 when x greater than 0 differentiable at x equals to 0? So you need to check differentiability at x equals to 0. It means what? It really means that we should have a valid value of the derivative of function at 0. So that means f dash 0 should exist. So when we are talking about differentiability at a point, we are checking that f dash x should be 0 at x equals to 0. Perfect. Uh, as to understand this function better, it's good to sketch the function, right? So let's sketch the function. We know when x is less than or equal to 0 is a parabola, which has been translated 4 units up. So 4 units up. This is the point at 4. On the left side, is going to be a parabola like this. Right? On the right side of y-axis, it is a constant function, 4, right? So it is, is a straight horizontal line. So it is continuous at x equals to 0. However, we have to find whether it is differentiable or not. So that means we'll treat it in two different parts. And with the definition, we know f dash x is equal to the limit h approaches 0 for f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Right? So that is the fundamental definition for finding the derivative at a particular point. Now, in our case, a is equal to 0. Right? So when we say x equals to 0, the value for this value of a is 0. So we'll find both the limits, one from the left side. So, so left side when x is less than or equal to 0. At that time, f of x is equal to x squared plus 4, correct? So we'll find this left side limit. And we'll also find the limit when x is greater than 0. And in that case, we know f of x is equal to a constant function 4. Is that clear? a is equal to 0. So the general expression for the derivative will be f dash x equals to limit. Now when we are talking about this function h approaches 0, it is going to be x plus h whole square plus 4, so that is a plus h, you can say, right, minus f of a, will substitute a equals to 0 later, will be x squared plus 4, right, divided by a. So that is the general expression. Now in this expression, I am substituting the value x equals to a, which is 0, right. So if, if I am finding at 0, x becomes 0. Is that clear? So if I write 0 here, I get h square plus 4. x is equal to 0, right? And on the right side, what I get is x is 0, I get minus 4 over h. Is that clear? So that gives you limit h approaches 0 of h square over h, which is limit h approaches 0 of h over h is 0. Perfect. So that is how from the left side you find that the derivative is 0. Now let's do the same on the right side. So in that case, what do we get? So the limit h approaches 0. Now the function is 4, right? So so there is no x in it. It's the both, if you take two points here, they are just 4, right? So it is 4 minus 4 over h. 
right because in this case as you can see f of 4 plus h is also equal to 4 perfect that is why that is why this is constant so uh, i mean 0 plus h is 4 so, uh, i mean 0 plus h if a is 0 it is called at every place it is 4 so this is equal to 0 now what we notice here is that both derivatives from both the sides are having the same slope so horizontal line is the slope right so we see that the horizontal line is slope at the point 0 4 correct so since we see that the derivative exists since we know now that f dash 0 is equal to 0 the function is differentiable I hope that is clear right so that is how you can show whether is a function is differentiable or not at a point so important thing is you should show that from both the sides you get the same derivative of the function right so that is how we can do it I hope you understand and appreciate the process feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great Thanks for watching and all the best.